It was billed as a spooky sleepover at Newcastle City Library. But the real story here is about people protesting against the closure of a possible 10 libraries in the area. The age group of people that we have here today tend to be in the younger end of about 16 to 20 because it's going to affect them as much as it's going to affect everybody else in the city. The venue for the sleep-in, Newcastle's multi-million pound city library, is not under threat. It's community libraries in residential areas that are facing closure. And it's so important to people, like young people especially, and older people who want to educate themselves, like people who didn't do well at school, they can come to libraries and read up on the things they want to know. Musicians were there keeping the 60 or so people entertained and showing their support for libraries. The sleep in, as I call it, um, is more effective because it means that we're giving up an entire night, we're going to stay for longer, which supports the cause more instead of just giving two hours in a street protest. We must fight tooth and nail and as Lee Hall said, the council should be protecting them to its dying breath. Well, the City Council has said 95% of the population will be within one and a half miles of a library. But campaigners say the closure of some local facilities is a loss to the city. Don't cut the heart out in Newcastle because it's, um, it's a really strong cultural thing and people use it and people love it and don't get rid of them because we love them. <laughs> Consultation on the City Council's budget proposals, including the library closures, has now ended and a final decision will be made by councillors on the 6th of March.